In this video, we're gonna learn about the dump function that you can use in your day-to-day -day practical workflow. It's a nice replacement for print, and let's jump in and take a look at it. We're gonna work in a Xcode playground here, so let's get started by creating one. Let me just center the window here, and I'll creatively call this uh, dump time, no pun intended, and save it wherever you'd like, and let me just full screen this. While I'm doing that, don't forget to smash that like button down below. So I've got some starter code that I'm gonna paste on in here. There's not a whole lot going on, but let's just read through it. So we've got this class up here, and it's important that this is a class rather than a struct, and we're gonna see momentarily why that's important. So we've got a class, we've got some properties on here. Of course, we've got a initializer, and then down below, we just create an instance of this class, which is a company, and we're creating an instance, which is Apple. So before we actually take a look at dump, let's convert this company to a struct. We're gonna open this bottom panel, otherwise known as the console, and at the very bottom here, let's type in print, and we're gonna print out basically Apple, which is defined right up above. Now, because we changed it to a struct, this is now a value type. So let's, let's do print and hit that run button, and let's see why that's pertinent. So when we print, we actually get a useful thing in our console, right? We can actually see the properties and their values. We can see what the ID is, the name, the description, basically all of the properties and all of the values that we have provided to our uh, value type here. Now let's come back up here and change this to be a class. It doesn't need to be final, but I'm just sticking on final for the sake of a uh, habit there. So let's uh, hit Command K in your console to clear that out, hit stop and hit play one more time. And now you're gonna see, here we see LLDB expression.company. So this isn't all that useful. Essentially what this is printing out is the fact that it is a uh, LLDB company type, but we don't really see the properties, we don't see the values, and if you were to do this in uh, a actual project and not a playground, you could also alternatively see the memory address of this instance. Now, we wanna see the properties and their values, so here comes dump. So let's replace print, which is a function we all know and love, with dump. And if you hit pause, or stop, and hit play again, now you'll see it's still an LLDB expression, and it's still company, but we can now see all of the properties their keys, their names, as well as the values that are assigned to them. This is obviously incredibly useful when you're debugging why something might not be set appropriately in your application for reference types. So that's the key uh, takeaway here is that you can use dump for reference types, i.e. classes, whereas print will work nicely with value types, i.e. structs. You can actually use dump for both, but just to clarify why dump is particularly helpful and relevant here. So that is all I've got in today's video for y'all. If you didn't know about dump, let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button before clicking away. Subscribe if you're into iOS and want to stick around. Lots of new content to come. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video.